hi guys welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know my name is omalade okaito and i focus on faith travel and reviews and in this video i am going to be speaking about triggers if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe please make sure you support a sister the button is just below i would really appreciate it okay and um, before i get into this video let me define what it feels to feel triggered so an emotional psychological reaction caused by something that somehow relates to an upsetting time or happening in someone's life okay so let me just give a little bit of some background story so lately i'll be honest i have been feeling really triggered than usual i don't know why i don't know if my emotions are a little bit higher than usual who knows but there has been a lot of eventualities over the past couple of months celebrations events the news of you know cost of living going up so it's just been really overwhelming for me recently and i've just been feeling more triggered than usual and also just feeling a little bit lost and i feel like that's not really helping um at the moment like feeling i'm a bit stuck in the mud so i've done a video about feeling stuck in life so make sure you do check it out just being transparent about certain things i just don't feel were moving then in some instances till this day i would say but yeah i've just been feeling a little bit triggered lately and i don't know if anyone has been feeling the same but i just want to do like a transparent video honest video and speak about you know what it means to feel triggered and some of the feelings that come with that I would say and I know that when I am triggered sometimes it is definitely linked to religious trauma and other things so I'm aware and I know why um, I am triggered which is really important to understand why you're feeling triggered also um, not only that I used to have this mindset of you know things that has to go a certain way almost as if things had to go in this perfect order if you do x y and z it's going to equal to this but life does not happen like that and i used to have this i'm gonna be honest like a delusional mindset that you say if you pray if you fast then it's gonna be answered and it's gonna be like this and am i saying that those things don't work of course they do work but for me it would most probably be every single thing i would think okay you know what god if i want a new car and i pray for a new car i know you're gonna give me a new car so that's the type of mindset that i would have but no like you gotta save for the new car you gotta get your driving license there's a whole process behind that at the same time too so that that's just an example but that's the kind of mindset that i would have and of course i would get triggered like if things did not go in a certain way or things did not happen the way i wanted to happen i would just feel really triggered and feel like okay why is it not happening and get you know really anxious get really upset really find it hard to process why it hasn't happened in that way so yeah and if it's happened to others it's like okay why hasn't it happened to me so yeah these are the type of things so rumination of thoughts and then my thought pattern will just go out of control but yeah this is like definitely some of the things that can happen when you're feeling triggered your emotions can just go everywhere okay so anyways let's educate ourselves on examples of triggers so examples of triggers is anger yep i said anger when i'm triggered i don't think i'm necessarily angry however when i am triggered i am definitely anxious so anxiety is actually the next one oh and feeling overwhelmed vulnerable abandoned or out of control so that out of control definitely links to me when i don't feel like i'm in control of the situation or i'm trying to control it but it's not working so that's another thing ah oh, loneliness as well let's not ignore that and you know as i've mentioned before please never ever deal with anything in isolation it's one of the worst things never feel like you are alone in some of the things that you're going through there are other people who also are going through the same things and understand what you are going through ha huh? muscle tension and heart palpitations when i first experienced this guys it was the most scariest thing tightening up the chest hey I, I used to think oh my gosh what's going on like luckily i didn't think it was like a spiritual attack or anything because that can really go left you know <laughs> Whew, scary scariest feeling memories tied to a traumatic event pain and sadness 
so those are just some of the examples so i've mentioned my experience and me feeling triggered lately i've also mentioned uh, the examples of feeling triggered the emotions that come with it and now i'm going to move on to how you can heal from feeling triggered when you have felt very triggered the aftermath can be quite painful so it's really important that we know and learn how to heal from that so these are some of the things that have helped me personally and just some of the things that I've researched change of atmosphere I think that definitely helps change of the environment in the past I've done that I've changed environments I've changed atmosphere not only that maybe taking yourself on a holiday or a spa weekend or treating yourself or going out to eat things that you like things that make you happy so change of environment always makes a difference boundaries as well I am very very careful with the amount of information that I consume whether that's through media whether that's through people around me whether that's what I'm listening to in my ear I set boundaries on what I choose to listen to and also my time I'm very careful in how I spend my time and who I spend my time with as well so because you know boy you, you gotta be careful you gotta protect your energy right identify your story and your journey which is not the easiest sometimes because it can come with bullets <laughs> i know mine has come with bullets i personally know the purpose as to why i share my journey and my experience and it's really helped with my healing process and not only just mine but it's really helped with others as well and that gives like a really like it uh, I'm going to say a positive feeling knowing that I'm helping somebody out there. Take deep breaths, especially when you're going through the heart palpitations, panic attacks. Deep breaths is very important. There's even like breathing techniques, which I've learned through therapy. So definitely research the breathing techniques when you are going through that because that really helps. Again, like I mentioned, therapy. Therapy, therapy, therapy. I'm an advocate for it. The biggest investment is yourself. So therapy always helps just to identify your triggers more, your emotions. It gives you like the great tools to navigate through that. And listen to your mind and body. Your mind and body will tell you when you are feeling triggered. Don't ignore that. Don't ignore how you're feeling physically and how you're feeling emotionally. Never ignore that. And changing your thought process, your thought pattern. Knowing me in the past, Right, I'm going to say in the past, but sometimes now, ruminating or thoughts, your thought pattern, and they're just allowing it to just wander and go, you go round and round in circles. And as soon as you know it, you're overly anxious. As soon as you know it, you're really, really triggered, worried, overthinking, all of that stuff. So CBT, definitely um, CBT help. That helped with me as well. And I cannot end with prayer. Prayer has really helped a lot. Prayer, prayer, prayer honestly helps. That combination supports all of that when I'm feeling triggered. I really hope, I really, really hope that this video was helpful for anyone who needs it. It's not for all, but for those who can relate and for those who are going through it and who are feeling it right now, I don't want you to feel that you're on your own. I don't want you to feel that you are dealing with this in isolation. And I really hope that this video has been helpful and useful by me sharing my experience and what I have been feeling lately, as well as some of the tips and tools that I have given in this video. Please do comment below. Please, you know, share your experience please let's be transparent and share your experience you never know how it can support and help somebody else and vice versa how someone else can support you as well but on that note please make sure you um, like this video please make sure you subscribe and make sure you support a sister until next time